everybody, Zabian here, and now it's time for a video that's been requested by quite a few people, but I've really never gotten around to doing it, either because I was not motivated or I just simply didn't have time. So in this video, we're going to be going over the materials needed to create the Vial of the Sands. Please note that this is for people who have the recipe already, and I will do a separate video at some point showing a detailed description on how to get the recipe by itself. But anyway, moving on with this video, let's start the, it off with a list of everything that you are going to need. Matt Wise, you're going to need one Perium laced crystal, crystalline vial, one, eight times sands of time, twelve true gold, eight flask of the wind, eight flask of titanic strength, and eight deep stone oil. Now, the top two of those ones that I just mentioned are actually vendor mats, so you won't be able to purchase them in the auction house unless you're quite lucky. Normally that's only if a seller is trying to get back what money they spent from buying it from a vendor. Now, the first item that you will be farming for is True Gold. Now, True Gold, to get the total amount that you need, you need 36 Perium Bars and 120 Volatile Air, Fire and Water. That's 120 of each. Now, you can farm the Volatiles in the Twilight Highlands for water. Now, you do this by going across the river, the little river where the water elementals are, and you slay them for about uh, an hour and 20 minutes, and you will eventually have your 120 water volatiles. In the same zone as the Twilight Highlands, you will also find fishing pools up to the top near the Bastion of Twilight. Just under there, you will find fire pools inside lava spots where you can obtain fire volatiles. Now, you can also kill the NPCs around there, but they have a lot, a much lower drop rate, and the pools actually don't have a huge respawn time, so it's about uh, 10 to 20 minutes per each pool that you fish. And air can be found in one dungeon, and it is the, uh, it is the pinnacle dungeon down in Aldum. Now that's quite a well-structured list. And after you have completed all these things, you will then need to go on and find your Pyrite. Now, Pyrite can also be found in Uldum, and it has a farming route, but I would actually suggest that you either buy it or you transmute it. Now, you can actually transmute Pyrium by using two key ingredients, and the ingredients are Elementium and Volatile Earth. Now, you can use these once per day, or if you have a lot of characters with alchemy or a lot of friends, you can send them to your friends and have them done for free or for a small payment package. It's always good to have friends to help you out. Now that we've figured out what to do with true gold, we can then move on with flasks. Now, flasks are fairly simple because you can pretty much pick up these materials from multiple locations, but I will list the best locations that I have found for farming those materials. So, what you're going to need for flasks is 128 volatile life, 64 Ashera veils and cinder room, that is 64 of each, and 128 whip tails. Now, for the share of Vale, what you're going to do is you're going to head down to Vashjir. Now, I know this is a zone that a lot of people do not like, but I'm afraid that it is the fastest way that you're going to get the Ashara Vale. You simply follow the route that I have displayed on the screen, and you should be able to gather enough plants to fuel your flasks to unlimited exteriority. Now, as for Cinderbloom, for Cinderbloom you're going to have to head to Mount Hygal, or Hyjal, however you want to say it. I have also linked a route on screen that you can follow by pausing the video until you've finished. Now, Volatile Life and Whip Tales. Uh, you can get some Volatile Life while you're farming for the Ashara Vale and the Cinderblooms. However, you don't get very much. It's really the Whip Tales that give you a great amount of volatile life. By following the route that I have on screen it will allow you to collect a lot of volatile life and the correct amount of whip tails that you need by spending a short amount of time just going around the looped route. Now for the final material that you need which is deep stone oil. You need eight albino cave fish and these can be located in deep home. 
Now in Deep Home, I have a fishing route that I normally take so that I can get these albino, albino cave fish. And the deep stone oil just needs one to create one deep stone oil. So this mat is relatively simple. After you have finished farming all your mats, you're going to head back down to Oldham and you're going to find the innkeeper on the top left of the mat. Now this innkeeper will be direct directly on the flight path, so you can just take a flight route there, and it'll be simple to get your final mat. Now be aware that the final mats do cost 29,000 gold put together, so you do need enough gold to be able to supply yourself so that you can make a profit on this one. Otherwise, you're not even going to be able to create the mount, and that would be a problem. This has been Zebu, and thank you for watching. If you like to see more of this content, then please hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you have anything to say that would add to this video, or anything that I missed, then please comment down below. And as for the rest of your day, I hope you thoroughly enjoy it. Thanks for watching.